Hi, James. Welcome back to the office. Thank you. It's good to see you today, but I hear you're having some tooth pain. Yes, I am. My tooth is killing me. Okay, so the pain's pretty bad. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Let me go ahead and get a pair of gloves on and we'll get started right away. Okay. See if we can figure out what's going on. so let's go ahead and have a look. I have my light here. I'm just going to have kind of an overall inspection. What side are you having the pain on? My right side. Okay, so over this side. Yes. Just looking for any external swelling. Maybe you close your eyes just because I'm shining this over your face sure. and I don't want to hurt your eye. So I'm going to touch your face a little bit. I want you to let me know if any areas are painful for you, okay? okay. Any pain here? No. Okay. And here? No. And how about here? Mm, just a little at the a bottom. A little, okay. Yeah, just a little right there. Okay. Okay. And how about... Down lower? Mm, a little bit. Like a radiating pain down here, maybe? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm not really seeing any external swelling or signs of inflammation. There's no redness on the outside that would lead me to believe there's any kind of infection. Okay. Just comparing that to your left side. And no pain over here. No. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to just have a look with my tongue depressor here. Can I have you open your mouth for me? Okay. Just having a look at your teeth overall. I'm going to have you put your tongue kind of relaxed down to your bottom lip and say ah for me. Ah. Uh. Okay. And bring it over to the left. Okay, so I think I'm seeing the problem here. That pain is coming from this area. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it does look like you have a cavity that's kind of eaten away at the enamel there. Okay, and go ahead and bring it over to the right for me, just having a look at this side. I'm not seeing any abnormalities there. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get you covered. I want to keep your shirt clean here, so I'm just going to cover you with a sterile draping. Lift your head just slightly for me. I just have a clip here. Okay, go ahead and relax. And I might need a little bit of an extension. Okay, how's that? assess that pain a little bit further so let's start with this I'm just going to turn on my headlamp 
So can I have you open on the left side? I'm gonna put a bite block in. Okay. I want you to bite down there for me. Any pain with that? No. Okay, don't let me pull it out there. Okay, so I'm gonna have you open. Let's do that again. No pain. Mm -mm. Okay, so we're gonna go to the middle. No pain there. Mm -mm. One more time. Again. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Going over to that right side. Pain there. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. One more time. This time I'm gonna go a little more diagonal there. Pain there. A little bit. Okay. A little bit of pain. So as I suspected, it looks like you're having some issues with a cavity there, which I believe on your last visit I did notice, but yeah. it seems to have progressed pretty quickly. Okay. Um, let me have a little bit of a closer look. I have a mirror here, and I'm going to go in and just do some teeth tapping, and I want to see if the pain is radiating anywhere. So I'm going to have a look here. First on the top, just to check. Let me know if any of this is painful. with any of this. Okay. So we're gonna move on to the bottom and I'm just having a look kind of Seeing a little bit of that black build up here. And let me know as we move to the right where it starts to hurt, okay? Mm-hmm. Here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just having a look on the outside here. Same thing, mm -hmm. pain starts here mm -hmm. and worsens kind of here. Mm-hmm. Well, James, unfortunately, it does look like we're going to need to remove that tooth today. That's fine. Please take it out. I think that's going to be definitely the best course of action for you. I don't want it to kind of fester. If we let cavities sit and get worse, they tend to become infected, and then we're looking at a bigger issue. I don't want to end up having to do a root canal. So I think the best thing to do here is just going to be to go ahead and remove the tooth for you, okay? So... We can remove it, we'll go ahead and do the extraction, and then we can always consider doing um, either a temporary replacement or a permanent replacement if you want to get like a single veneer, or we have like porcelain caps that you could put in. That'd be something that we can discuss on a further visit, okay? So I'll have you come back in for a follow-up just to double check to see how the extraction's doing. Sure. And when we do that, we can talk about your course of action from there. So to get started, obviously I'm going to be giving you a little bit of a topical anesthetic here. Just, I don't want you to be in too much pain. Do you ever have any issues with like topical lidocaine? No, I normally need more than usual though. Okay. So maybe a little more than what we normally would give. Yes. Okay. So I do have a 10 cc syringe here. We normally do about five, but I can give you the whole syringe if you feel like you need it. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and do that then. It does take a couple minutes to start, so I will go in. This is what it looks like. Okay. Um, I'm just going to inject it around the gum line, specifically in that area, but I will kind of move it around a little just to make sure we're getting all of your nerves blocked there. Okay. And in a couple minutes, we'll reassess. You kind of let me know how you're feeling, okay? Thank you. No problem. Okay. So let me just grab a couple things. Look 
Q-tip here is just going to help me move that around. Okay, so go ahead and open up for me. This is going to be a little cold. I'm going to kind of let that sit on the gum line there. Okay, so I'm going to finish off the rest of this. Okay. You're going to feel a cold burst of liquid here, okay? Okay. Okay, so we finished off that syringe. And I'm just going to use a cotton tip here to kind of manipulate that, make sure we're really getting it in your gum line. I apologize if this is causing you any discomfort. At the top, I just want to be sure. Can I have you open for me? All right, James, so we're gonna let that sit for a couple of minutes and for about three or four minutes, I want you to let me know how you're feeling, okay? Okay. All right, James, it's been a couple minutes here. I'm gonna do some tapping along your jawline and I want you to let me know how much of this you're able to feel, if any, okay? So I'm gonna start on the left side where we didn't apply as much of the lidocaine. Are you able to feel this? Yeah. Okay, is this painful? Coming over to the middle. No. 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 No, it feels numb. Can't feel anything here. No. And then right at where that tooth is, nothing oh, here. Just a little bit. But a not little. Much. Okay, do you want a second go of that lidocaine? You think you need a little uh, more? I think it's okay. It's okay. So this, maybe you feel the pressure, but it's not painful. Right. Okay, and here is okay. Yeah, that's fine, I don't feel anything up there. Okay, so should be okay here. Okay. Okay, so I do wanna just test a little bit of pinprick. This is gonna simulate the pulling of the tooth here. Does this feel sharp to you, or do you just feel something? I just feel something. But it doesn't feel pointy at all? No. And then over here, you should feel sharp. Yes, I do. Here, maybe not so much. Yeah, just a little bit. But in this area, it's, fine. it's pretty numb to the point. Yes. Okay, good. So I think we're ready to go ahead and move on. So let's get you started with the extraction. Um, I'm just gonna bring my suction in here. tends to make you produce a little more saliva. So I'm gonna set this on top of you for when we need it. Okay. Okay. And okay. So I'm just setting up my loops here so I can have a little bit of a better look. Perfect, okay. So I have a couple different things here. And okay. All right, James. Well, I'm gonna have you tilt your head there for me and go ahead and open your mouth. I'm just gonna have a look at that tooth. Okay. About one, two, three. So 
the fifth tooth over is what we'll be extracting here. You're gonna feel my forceps, you shouldn't feel any pain. Okay, does this feel okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, and down on your gums here, is that okay? Mm -hmm. Actually, what I'm going to do is go ahead and open wide for me. I want you to bite down on that here. That's just going to help me keep your mouth open a little better. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go in. And you're going to feel quite a bit of pressure here, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me know if it's painful. Just going to wiggle that around a little bit. It's pretty loose. Just a little tug here. There we go. Have a look at that. See how it's a little discolored? Yeah. You definitely had a cavity there. Okay. So let me go ahead and remove that bite block for you. Definitely going to need to do some suctioning here, okay? look we got it all out we severed it at the root which is good okay and it definitely looks like we're gonna have some space to work with if you do decide that you want to put an implant in mm -hmm. perfect okay well that anesthetic is going to take a little while to wear off, but in the meantime, how about I do a little bit of tartar cleaning for you? You do have some buildup there. Okay. Okay. So, let me just see. Go ahead and open up for me. a very very mild cleanup for you here since I have you and you're numbed okay it's really not that much to clean up just doing a little Simple job here. Okay, I'm gonna go in with one of these specialty flossers and this is gonna help break up the rest Ow. of that. I'm sorry. Almost done. Your teeth at the bottom are pretty tight. Okay, very good James. So the last thing I think we should do here is do a little bit of cleanup. So I have my suction ready. I'm going to go in with a medicated swab. This is going to help prevent infection. It does taste pretty minty, okay? So my suction here. I'm going to clean to make sure I'm going to leave the bacteria behind since the extraction is technically open Mm -hmm. 
Good. Okay. Now, I do want to send you with this. This is a chlorhexidine oral rinse. It's 12%. I want you to rinse with this tonight before you go to sleep. After you brush your teeth and floss, same thing tomorrow. This is two doses and it's just going to help prevent infection in that area, okay? Okay. Okay. So I'll send you home with that. And last thing I'm gonna do is just give you a little bit of a cotton here. It's got a little, little bit of bleeding. It's gonna help just kind of dry the area. And pack that a little. You can take that out in about 20 minutes or so, okay? Okay. And that numbing should be wearing off. Let's see, it's starting to feel a little more here. Yeah. Is that painful? Just a little bit. A little bit. Do you want me to send you home with the prescription? I can give you like an extra strength Tylenol. And that works. Okay, perfect. So I'll go ahead and write that up for you. We'll get you some Tylenol. You can take that twice a day. It should help. I would only take it for about the next four days. After that, you should be okay. Okay. All right, so you can pick that up at the desk on your way out. All right, James, well, thank you so much. I'm sorry about your tooth today. On your follow-up appointment, we'll talk about some options for you, okay? All right. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.